Hear this. Hear this. Your position matters in the presence of God. Your position determines your visitation. Reduce the sound. Before you sit and hear this, Anna had been attending Shiloh. And there was no change in her life. She will come Shiloh this year. She will come Shiloh next year. And we go home buried. But a day came. He decided to have a change of position. At first, she used to eat chicken. At the mountain. But on that day, she said, I will go into the house and I will see him. Others we are celebrating. Anna shot every other person out. And locked herself in with God. And that was the Shiloh that brought a revival and the testimony she had been looking for. You have been attending my father's blessings. You've heard all that shared testimonies. But you have not heard, you have not shared your own testimony. A change of attitude will result to a change in destiny. If you keep appearing to God the way you used to appear before Him, you will not have a change. You have to come to a point where you look forward for the world that was meant for you. Everyone that had a miracle in the house of God prepared for it. Check history. Read through the Bible. Everyone that encountered God in a special way in the house of God prepared for it. The woman with the issue of of blood say if only I could touch the hem of his garment. Jacob said I will not walk in the company of my family members. I will never let you go unless you bless me. Moses said I will not get up from this place until you promise me of your presence. I don't know your desire. I don't know why you are here. I don't know whether you have come to look at faces. I have come that he might shift my life. I have come before the father of fathers that he might give me a desired testimony. And he can give you testimony as well. Lift your two hands up before him. Tell him what you want from him. Talk to him from the depth of your heart. Talk to him from the depth of your spirit. Speak to him. Speak to him. Tell him, Lord, have come in search of you. Tell him, Lord, I have not come in search of anybody. Encounter me. Change my story. Give me testimony. Anna 
Nazi Halil Jehovah Mary In Jesus' name, Jesus, have your way in our midst. We have come. We have not come to look for anybody, we have come looking for you. We know that one word from you will correct our lives. As many that have gathered and as many that have connected online my father change their stories in Jesus name Amen put your hands together have your seats Lord we thank you Number one, I want to appreciate all of us. Uh, our engineer, our sound yesterday was far better. We go on. That is different between the blessing that was provoked and ordinary God bless you. They are not the same. God speaking to Abraham in Genesis chapter 22 from verse 16 he said to Abraham for this act look at the weight of that word it was not when God will appear to him and said I will make you a great nation no God committed himself he said for this act I have now come to understand that you love me. So I swear by nothing else but my name. Because God looked around. He looked at something he can swear with. You know when you swear, you swear with something, something that is higher than you. And God saw that it's nothing higher than him. So God swore by himself. Therefore, thereby committing himself into that world. He said the blessing are blessing. Your seed shall possess the gate of their enemies and by your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because Abraham, Abraham provoked it turn your bible with me to Genesis chapter 12 that is our anchor scripture Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 Genesis and 2. Please get set. A word is coming to you. Grab that word. Stand on that word. Run with it. What God cannot do it does not exist. Your situation is very minor as long as Jehovah is concerned. Genesis 12 now, he said, now the Lord, the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. Verse 2. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shall be a blessing. You see, we started this message yesterday, the power of the blessing. And for the sake of some of us who came from our branch churches who are not here yesterday to be part of this program, I, I, I want to give us a little background and then we move into today. Today we are looking at the wonders of the blessings. The wonders, the effects the workings the products the manifestations of the blessings yesterday I told us that many people are traveling from one corner to another corner looking for the secret of blessings but as few few have run into God to discover the 
blessing How is the secret causing. of blessings. And we say that the blessing was God's prophetic word. God's prophetic word. It is God's prophetic declaration. According to Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, he says, Go and replenish the earth. Multiply, subdue, and have dominion over everything that I have created. This is God prophetically declaring upon man his blessings to go and produce. So when we talk about the blessing, we talk about God prophetically speaking to you as an individual via his word that it shall be well with you that you will not die like a pauper that you will not be wasted at the wrong side of life i don't know how many who believe in that word that is coming upon you today but i want you to get connected to this spiritual world because your life is going to become even a surprise to you yourself because what has never happened in the history of your life is going to begin in 2021 and it is starting in this month of january i don't know what you are believing what you are looking for I, I don't know the prophecy you are looking for the word of god is the sure word it doesn't frighten people it doesn't create fear I know somebody who had a list of prophecies. One has not come to pass. It is the word of God that God fulfills. There are some things we call prophecies that are the words of men. He said to Jeremiah, What do you see? He said, The seeker motri said, You saw well. I am watching over my word to perform it. The word of God is a light that shines in the darkness. When you assess the word of God, your life will receive a turnaround. And wherever you are this evening, get ready for that declared word because it's going to be coming out of the scripture and it's going to be coming upon your life because I know there is somebody here. They have looked down upon your family. They have looked down upon you. They have asked you, where is your God? I have come to tell you that you are living this mountain to show them your God. You are leaving this mountain to begin to show them your God. You become a proof producer by the word of God. You become a sign manifest. Is it manifesto or, 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 or exhibitor by the word of God. You are going to become an evidence of the word of God. That they will no longer ask you where is your God. They will not ask you Take us to your God. The Bible says that time shall come. Ten men from different languages shall uphold the sketch of he that is a Jew, saying, Let us go with you, for we have heard that the Lord is with you. In Genesis chapter 37 and in Genesis chapter 39, the Bible said, Because of Joseph, God blessed the house of the Egyptians, not for the sake of the Egyptians, but for the sake of Joseph. And the Bible said, When Jacob was about leaving Laban, Laban said to him, Please don't go from me, because I have come to understand by experience that the Lord had blessed me because of you. That is going to be somebody's story any moment from now because there is going to be a change. They have called you a nobody. They have called you the vulture of the church. They have called you all manner of names. They have asked you where is your God. But that God sent me this evening with the blessing to someone. To tell someone that your season of manifestation it has come. It has come. Not it will come. It has already come. Because as you are stepping out 
are the gate of the church. We are going to be receiving calls that will redefine your life. So many will look at you and say, Of a fruit, the Lord is with you. Of a fruit, the hand of the Lord is with you. Because God shall pour your captivity out by the blessings. The blessings. The blessings. We saw in Genesis chapter 18. We saw when Abraham, I remember Abraham was arguing with God as regards to Ishmael's position. And God said to him, Ishmael is not my covenant child. By this time next year, God became very direct and specific. Abraham had followed him for 25 years. And Abraham said to him Abraham, in chapter 17, Do you say I should walk after you and be perfect? You have looked at me and said that I'm growing old. And I don't have a hair that will take over my property. The son of the stranger will take over it. And God said to him, Shut up. A son born in your house from your loins will possess your possession. He said, Lord, what become of Ishmael? God said, Ishmael is not my, is not my covenant child. Ishmael is not the product of my word. Ishmael is the product of your work. That is different between your work and his work. Your work is a limited edition. His work has no limit. His work moves from level to level. His word from ages to ages. For the Bible says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your word is settled in heaven. If it is settled in heaven, then it can settle matters on earth. If it is settled in heaven, it can settle issues on earth. And I stand on that word and I declare to you, peace. I didn't hear that. I said, peace. Hey, in your family, peace. Hey, in your business, peace. Hey, in your ministry, hey, peace. Man. In your endeavors, hey, peace. Man. In anything you lay your hands hey, upon, man. peace. Hey, man. Amen. And he said, Where is he? But I have heard you. I have blessed him Ishmael he will become a great nation and he will become exceedingly great today we are seeing the effect of the blessing at work in the life of Ishmael all this oil nation they are from the 12th as a no princess of Ishmael. Ishmael Jacob had 12 Jacob sons. Ishmael, Ishmael by blessings had 12 sons. Kata is one of them. Kuwait is one of them. Saudi Arabia them. Name all these oil rich nations. The blessings of the Gentiles or the blessings of the sons of the bond woman was not as a result of their smartness. It was as a result of the pronounced word of God upon their great, 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 great grandfather. Because the blessings is transgenerational. He moved from level to level. That is why God said a, a good man leaves inheritance not only to the children but to the children, children. And then we saw in the life of John Rockefeller, the first American billionaire in dollar who died many years ago, that the children, 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 children are still enjoying the wealth of this man because he had the blessings. He had the blessings. Anytime you pay for oil, you buy gas, you are patronizing the blessings of Ishmael. They are the oil controlling nations. They are in cash because God spoke. 
There is difference between the inspired word and his spoken word. There is no dent in him. And right where you are, fix your heart into the mouth of God. Because as I will be preaching, he will be speaking to you. And as he speaks to you, write it down. It doesn't matter what the doctor says. God can change medical report he has done it before he can do it again God can instantly suddenly make a nobody somebody overnight he has the capability of doing it so get ready to receive a word tell your neighbor I am blessed not cursed and then we looked at the blessings of Abraham. And we saw that the blessings of Abraham include riches and wealth. We saw fruitfulness. We saw longevity. We saw divine connection. Abraham was so blessed that he refused to collect a gift from a man. He said, I can't collect a gift from you. I am too sure that the word the Lord spoke on my head is working. But there are many of us that have received the sure word over our lives, but we are still behaving as though God has not blessed us. Let me tell you, the word alone cannot produce. It takes the word and your faith. You can never become what you don't believe in. It takes your faith to make things work. And faith has action or is active. When you see a faithful person, he is not hidden. She is not hidden. She will keep talking about it. I have not touched one million when I started shouting in the school. I refuse to be poor. I can never be poor. In fact, it became my guy name. The whole school they started calling me that. The senior student. I refuse to be poor. Come here. I refuse to be poor. Come here. Because before I talk. I will tell them I, somebody shout I refuse to be poor everybody will shout it I refuse to be poor I reject their poverty with every amount of seriousness and authority that one day I was returning from school I just finished giving my life to Christ so, because I used to be very stubborn then very very stubborn very stubborn so i just finished giving my life to christ in that year so i was walking quietly and a lady older than me met me on the road and somebody was abusing me and the lady said why are you abusing this poor boy if it's her I say poor who? Now your mama make me poor. You, you, your entire generation, you plan, I hate poverty with every amount of hatred. And you can't tell me poor me. Poor me for what? Now in the, in the natural eyes, she's trying to defend me. Don't defend me by reducing me. I refuse to be poor. I don't know what I have a member here. Do I have a follower here? Tell your neighbor, I refuse to be poor. Poverty is bad. Poverty is bad. It doesn't matter what anybody is a prosperity preacher. This and that, 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 that. That's your own cup of water. Poverty is bad. And I have never seen God say to anybody by blessing, I will so make you poor that you will get to heaven. Have you read it in the Bible? I can't be poor. Can you say it to your neighbor? I let me tell you, let me tell you. You don't need to start saying it when you feel like you are feeling it. 
Say it even when nothing around you portrays the fact that you can be poor. I want you to shout it. Let the devil hear it. I refuse to be poor. Amen. I refuse it. Can never. I reject it. We also look at how to provoke the blessings of God. Please follow me from level to level. And get something. Please get instruction. As I'm talking, let the Holy Ghost instruct you. Let the Spirit of God talk to you. There is a word for you. Only you can hear it. Hear it and walk on it. If God can bless others, God can bless you. Don't count yourself out. We said number one is to have a heart of obedience to God's instruction. Can, can someone can give me Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26? A heart. A heart that obeys instruction. Look at what the Bible says. Can you look at it very critically? He said, My son, give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways. Give me your heart and let your eyes see my wonders. I ask for nothing but your heart. I ask for nothing but your heart. A man said to Jesus, which one is the greatest among the commandments? Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your might. He said, the second is like unto the first. Love your neighbor as you have loved yourself. That's the summary of the law. Because when you love a man, you will keep his instruction disobedient is a sign of no love when somebody disobeys your order no matter the reason there is no love i served a man he may be watching us live thank you sir i i served this man that his mistake now, his Holy Ghost said but, if at to a point any time my mother cited him or cite him and comes back home he will tell me I saw your God now my mother worship in the same church. He, he is our pastor. But there are some of us who hyped him above the normal limit. So to them is a pastor. To us is our God. We followed him so dearly that his anger will take food from you for one week. Even if he asks you to do what is wrong, you do it. Five. We fought one minister that replaced him because he ordered us. We don't care what anybody is saying. We, your thought says the Lord is not important until he, con he, he confirms your thought says the Lord. If you don't follow God with all your heart, there is a realm in him you cannot assess. Let me tell you. <laughs> God is deeper than what you think. But your value for him determines the side of him that he will refute to you. You can pretend before man 
you cannot pretend before God. He knows the very thought of your heart. Nothing is hidden before him. I said it yesterday. I said there are people we look at in the church and we say with all these sisters' commitment, how come the Lord has not blessed this person? I'm going to say this person you are looking at the commitment. I know this person more than you. I was talking to one of my sons today. I said service with murmuring equal to causes. There are some who serve and they murmur. <laughs> you know, in Numbers chapter 11, the Bible says, and they complained. What happened? God killed them for complaining. That is why, as a child of God, or let me let me let me shift to ministers. Can I talk to our pastors? Don't accept to pastor a church where you are not ready to go through the process. Because your murmuring will stagnate your growth. Reverend Jude, I have tricked to crusades. This not, not coming to hear a man of God preach. I am the speaker. And the people that invited me didn't give me transport money and I had no money. And after ministering at night, I trek back home. This express knows me very well. This express. I used to minister at Trinity Methodist Church in Dismissed by 11-12. Break from there with my Bible back home. I didn't complain. Because my, my understanding was this fact. He called me. And I know he sees me. And if he sees me like this, it is for a reason. We have fasted and to break fast there is no food so you continue. Not because you want to continue but because there is no food to break it. So you continue the fast. Without a story there is no glory. You know in our generation now Ministers of God will want you to start up a church for them. Equip it. If possible, put AC. Put AC for them. Give them a jeep. Rent a house for them. Buy musical equipment. And let them stay there. You will be crippled. That's not the way this giant started. So if you are still complaining, you are not fit for the work. Resign. Go and do press up. Get muscle. Before you can continue. You will be abused. You will be neglected. You will not be appreciated. When I was serving a man, they never told us we were going for family deliverance prayer. They will just see you, my friend, do sister three today. Sister six. Uh, sister till forever. And come to my house by six. That's all. No, in our own generation, you have to give the pastor two weeks' notice. We, we are not trained like that. I say it as one. I don't know whether you know that God is talking to us now. There are things, there are things you thought you are passing through now. You thought you are the only one that went through it. It's a lie. There was a time I ate yam three times a day for one week. White yam. White yam. 
Kebe no bro friendly biscuit na granot. Ah yeah. go. Ah uh, go pataraya. You get granite, you get biscuit, it becomes your food. And when you chew it and drink water, your body is very, very normal. It gives you opportunity to pray. Too much food blocks your spiritual sensitivity. And when you are in your stage of hunger, master it very well so that you will know how to navigate in the realm of the spirit. But time shall come, you become very busy. What you have learned in the days of suffering is what will help you to meander. Those days. Abraham, Abraham, get up. Go to a land. That I will show you. Leave your father. Leave your mother. Leave your brothers. Leave your kindred. Don't call anybody. Don't discuss with anybody. And Abraham happens to be the first son. Imagine a day came, a first son stood up and said to the father, I'm going. Where are you going, son? Anywhere I see. Is that not madness? Anybody who wants to enjoy God will not follow God with his brain. Keep your brain behind. Follow his own brain. That is what it takes to journey with God. He stood up and left. That was instruction. You know, I studied the Bible. I discovered that the Bible is made up of 75% instructions. 25% principles. But unfortunately, our generation hate instruction. We always want to do it the way we want. Our generation hate discipline. Our generation, they are always right. Even when they are wrong. Bro, you know that this thing is wrong. But you are trying to justify your claim. You are on your own. Anybody you talk to and say, this thing you are doing is, is not good. Do it. I say, leave the person. It doesn't have future. Quote me anyway. Take time. Look at the person. Because nobody rises alone. You don't rise alone. You need somebody to confront you. And can I tell you this? Divine conf confrontation has nothing to do with age. It has to do with spiritual maturity. Come on, I don't know whether God is talking to somebody. Heart for God. Heart to obey Him. Son, can you drop your car key for me? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, are you taking it now or tomorrow? Just drop it. That is what it takes to encounter the blessings. Son, can you sweep the church for me? For one week. You don't look at your size. You don't look at the volume of the money in your bank. You say to him, yes, sir. I tell you, you will never recover from it. God is looking for those that he will trust their heart of obedience so that he can expose his glory to God blesses. And remember, it is the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and it added no sorrow. And the blessings of God comes by instruction. So if you don't obey, how then can you grow? We had PFM by now conference. I was in that meeting when God said to me, When you get home, organize 45 days program. How many days? It's not easy. You are coming to church every day for 45 days. It's not easy. Some people will die. I said, Thank you, Jesus. I went to a choir bomb last week. It was it last week or last two weeks? And actually, throughout this December, I have not rested. So, one of the reasons why I went for the program was to receive from my father in the Lord and then take time and rest. The night of that, two, you saw me on Tuesday now. Was it on Tuesday? Okay, yes. I, I'm talking to Uche. You didn't go with us, so why are you standing up? <laughs> That night, God came. 
return to Enugu tomorrow morning. The 21 days prayer going on in the church is very important. Don't exceed this night. And I woke up by 4. Entered the road by 5. And I was the one driving. With sleep. Turning my eyes upside down. But I have to get back home. Because the maker said, go home. It's not easy. It's not easy. When you see a man enjoying some level of benefits, there is an instruction he's keeping. Our father and the Lord walked down here. Saw this school going on. And God man said, I saw one building rising at the back of your church. What are you trying to do? I said, sir, we are trying to build school. He said, no, it's too early to build school. Stop the school, buy lands. That's God instructing me. It's like in our church now. God gave us an assignment. And the pastor is hearing a different thing. It's a sign that God is asking you to go and start your own. That's all. Brother, I was in Methodist Church. And on the Methodist Church. And then one Sunday, I wanted to go out of the normal bulletin, this general, uh, what do you call it? Uh, but outline, someone outlined is it's, it's global. It's for the uh, whole conference. And I, I, I went to God in prayer that night. I said, Jehovah, give me a message. Jehovah, give me a message for this Sunday service. Lord, I don't want to preach all these things they preach. Lord, I want to move in the anointing. After the Lord said to me, go and get that book. Prepare the message. I, I said, Why? He said, You're under them. Follow that process. Don't preach another thing. God is a God of order. That's why when some people come and tell me they are in a minute, they say, God is telling them. I tell them, My brother. It's your suit that is talking to you. Or maybe one rich member that gave you 50,000. Like, no, no, no. No, you go fifty. Ne kiri kobo. E mo anzo. No ko hundred e gana abia. E mo. E wo go kwa o. We have been there. I know we back. Bro, without sounding arrogant. Na ya hishi. I know God. I'm a rap chineke. I don't claim perfection. But when I look at you and I say to you, this journey is wrong. It's wrong. Ma ine ja degem ma mara na degem ma. But you know there are some of us you cannot instruct. There are some members that we, after making the mistake, they will not come. And to so many of them, I don't argue with them. Because you don't argue the Holy Ghost. I saw it as a deliberate move. Change it in 2021. Don't be a man of your word. Don't be a woman of your word. Be a person of his word. This is my word. But in case he said no on it, I change it. This is what I want. This is what I like. Bishop Oyedebo said one day he was worshipping God as they were getting ready to move to Joss to start up their ministry in Joss as the headquarters. And he was thanking God that evening and saying, Father, thank you. We have packed everything. We are ready to move to Joss tomorrow morning. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And God said to him, Who did you hear? He said, you spoke to me. He said, no. He said, remember in 1974, you used to play golf at Joss and you love the weather. And you said to yourself, if I am given opportunity to choose a place where I will live, I will choose Joss. He said, it is that golf that spoke to you, not me. Keep your bag here. He was getting ready to relocate to America. He thanked God. He said, Father, I thank you. I'm going to America. God said, to do what in America? He said, I'm going there to live. And God said, no. Everything in America, you can turn this city into that place. Stay back. Instruction. Heart of obedience. If you don't have heart for God, forget about encountering the blessings. Forget it. Are you tired of hearing what I'm saying? You can, you like, like, once we, are, we can be here more than 7.30. Once 7.30 we share the grace of God. We are not waiting for anybody. 
Well, yeah, 7.30 yeah. because of people who are coming from far places. That's all. Yeah, if yeah, not, we'll dismiss myself. Yeah. Because even if I stop here, I think I have said enough. I know God has spoken to somebody. Even when I have not entered to today's message, I'm still here But I know God is blessing somebody. I told them a story yesterday how in the whole side had an offer by T.L. Oxborn. T.L. Oxborn called him and said, uh, the ministry would like to help you, support the ministry. We have buildings for you. Uh, uh, it is in three different locations. Uh, you start from the cheapest one to the biggest one. And the minister are going to help you clear it. He saw the first one. It was a bungalow. A bukyu, and it was fenced. He loved it. Because he was living in a thatch house. They said, no, don't make a choice yet. Let's go to the second one. They go to the second one. It was a duplex. Bukyu. Good compound. Oh, Everywhere tied. He said, Ah, this must be the place. This is the place. This is the place. The man said, Wait, let's see the last place and then make a choice. He got to the last place and he saw both swimming pool in the compound and everything. He said, He called the wife and said, We now have a house. This is the house. The wife said, honey, God bless you. I love it. I love it. He said, honey, we, we are blessed. And that night, the Lord appeared to him and said, go home. He said, who? Who is talking? Every demon from my father's house. I bind you. I cast you. After that, the Lord said to him, are you done casting and binding? Go home. If you stay here by six, I kill you. He called the wife. He went to the wife and said, Honey, 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 honey pack your bags. God said we should go home. The wife stood up and said, He told you, not me. So you pack. The wife went to tell her husband and said, I don't know what is wrong with my husband. Tell her husband called the house and said, the joy of the building is confusing you. He goes away down. He said, I know God when he talks. And this time, it's more serious. He said, he will kill me. 5.30, he ran out of the compound. Because 30 minutes to 6. Lord killed him, so he ran out. And God said to him, for this obedience, everything that you have seen in this house, you will have more than double of it. Go home. Nah. Instruction. Gives birth to the blessings. That is what we call test of success. Test of what? Test of what? You ask for one million. God give you ten thousand. To watch what your reactions will be. ten thousand and mess here up. You will never see the one million for Because you failed the first test. Heart of love. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. What the Lord prepared for those who love him. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Everything working together for good. For those who love him. Who are the called according to his purpose. Love God. Love God. Number three. Become an incurable giver. Become what? incurable giver Abraham gave all and God blessed him now let's move to the wonders of his blessings wonders are things that mortals cannot explain the source when we say that wonderful thing happened it is a call for surprise it is a call for surprise it showed us something beyond human comprehension has just taken place so when we talk about the wonders of his blessings we are talking about the happenings that man cannot explain there is somebody here before the end of March something that will happen in your life will cause somebody to ask a question what really happened because they will not understand how God lifted you up how God connected your life how God changed your life how God did it because to them it can't to them 
It can't. But God did it. They are making plans to destroy you. They are making plans to take you out of the compound. I listened to one of our fathers in faith, Bishop, in my song. The landlord where he was living gave him the insult of his life and told him for so 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 time I'm going to throw you out of my compound. And the man stood up and spoke in tongues in capital letters. And Jehovah stepped down that under four moles the man built a duplex without the knowledge of the landlord. Before the day of injection, he brought the key. What is your new address? Who who have bought you? Say no. I'm a man landlord of my own. That shall be somebody's story. Amen. That amen is looking is very very very. Our mother in fact told us a story. She said when she accepted to marry Papa, Papa had nothing then. Papa had nothing. He appeared like a hopeless preacher, but there was a feature in him. Some of the classmates mocked Yo. her, ridiculed her. One of them stood against the marriage and said, Philo, is that you who bewitched you? Are you going to suffer? One day saw them on Okada, laughed at her. Because the day of their wedding, everything was economical. There was no reception. There was no coke. There was no sprite. The man used 50 naira to sew his own clothes. I mean 50 kobo and gave the wife 50 kobo to arrange anything and beg somebody to carry them in their taxi. From wedding hall, wedding ended. That same evening, he dragged the wife to a crusade ground and they were playing cinema. And people gathered and said, what kind of Foolish people are like this. After wedding night, they should go and do honeymoon. And they are there in the crusade ground playing uh, cinema saying Jesus saves. But last two years, the woman came back to beg for money. Here you go. Because he had issues. And that was about five million. Her mother and the Lord said she looked at her. And said, Wonder shall never end. So God had brought me to the position where I am now the one to help this one. He said, But no, my, my husband will not. She said, She ran to daddy and said, Daddy, who will help her? Who will not? Do I said, This woman abused me when I married him. Daddy said, No, 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 no. That is the main. main reason why we should give it to her but we're not going to give it to her cash we're going to give her check so that she can have the pressure of bank as a punishment they wrote the check gave to the woman she stood at the queue you know when you give you have to call the bank manager to confirm and if you, when you when you meet a lazy, stupid banker. You will close your account. You will tell them. You will tell them. I want to withdraw all the money I have here because in bank, when you go to put money, you will have regular signature. When you go to withdraw, your signature is irregular. How come we've never had the regular signature when you want to put money? Anytime you want to collect money, irregular signature will come. That shall be somebody's story here. Do you know the beauty of praying for your enemies? Those who said you will be nobody and suddenly they knelt down waiting for you to lay hands on them. I don't know who God is talking to. That is a blessing going to somebody here. I don't know the name of the person but I know that there is somebody here. Very soon the Lord will turn the captivity of Zion. Little you now will become a mighty ocean tomorrow. That enemy is looking for my job. I said you become a mighty ocean. Just hold on to God. Keep serving God. Keep working with God. Don't care. Let me tell you. 
anybody that will follow God should care less of what people are saying and distract us. Follow him from your heart. Now let us look at no wonders number one. Wonders number one is turn around testimonies. Somebody shall turn around testimonies. Abraham was 75 years old. Draw the picture. A fool at 40 is a fool forever. A fool at 75 is no longer a fool forever. It's none. Foolishness. In fact, such a person is the source of foolishness. He should be giving foolishness to other foolish people. At 75, he had no child. At 75, he had no building of his own. At 75, he had no business. At 75, he had no property standing in his name. At 75, he was like a waste pipe. At 75, he was still squatting in his father's house until God met him. God met him by the blessing and said to him in verse 2 I will bless you I will make out of you a great nation and I will not only bless you I will make you a blessing at 75, he had an encounter with the blessing. And in Genesis chapter 13 verse 2, the Bible said, Abraham became rich. That is a turnaround testimony. There is somebody here, I don't know you, but I can hear God telling you, you may call your name, but I hear God telling you, I will bless you. Somebody is not spiritual. I will bless you. I will make a great nation out of you. And I will make you a blessing. Don't allow your place to limit your rising. You are not in a place to be buried there forever. You are in a place to start a journey so that you move to the next level. I hear him. Psalms number 126 verse 1 to when the Lord shall turn again the captivity of Zion that is a turn around testimonies you had one of us who married for 8 years had no child and when the blessings came upon her she didn't have one she had four at once that is once and for all and not only that she had four at once God lifted the husband they built their own house at centenary living in their own compound with a bundle of joy why when the Lord shall pop again the captivity of Zion we are like them that dream by the blessings in Genesis chapter 30, chapter 24, I think verse 35, the Bible says, For the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. This was a, a, a stupid, frustrated man in the eyes of the people until the word of the blessings came. And God said, I will bless you, I will make you a blessing, and nations shall come out of you. Because out of your seed, by your seed, shall the nations of the earth be blessed. The blessing is divine spoken word from God. Turn around stories. Is somebody weak? Is somebody tired of what God is doing now? Are you tired? Don't wait for me to come and start giving you prophecies. Oh. If it comes, I give. But please don't hope or wait for it. Connect to this one. This one is far better than that one. I have it. Nature from now to 
man, I'm, I'm telling you, check go the list here, mama guy, who name is you? Because it is the word of God that makes you responsible. The word of God opens your eyes and gives you the privilege of grabbing what was meant for you. Turn around, stories. Turn around. Turn around. Suddenly, somebody turned around. Suddenly, that single lady. Did I not be a a jigodiri convoy ten apart from motor and the other jeep known as upon a chineke package the mwoke maroma de wena mwoke morobi umana mwoke marano wai go on on and kegea kori ono kuzeru mwa ine shimi mura ara mwoye lono na kukweba anwa boruku wakwa nobi fotaji yena mero dene kire asena nkechi eee Mbana <laughs> Mboge chukururu, mboge chukururu, mboge chukururu. And when they got the force to make peace with you, mm. even when you are not calling for their yes. peace. Mboge chukururu, so. mbembe chara these seven days, my father's blessings. And you go with Ngozi Mibuoge, sacha chara gaha, razi chando gaha, they will come and have a handshake. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you this? No matter their native doctor, no matter who they visited or anybody they have consulted, they cannot stop what is coming upon you. They cannot stop the blessing that is coming upon you. They cannot stop the glory that is coming upon you. They cannot stop the favor that is coming upon you. If you believe that, shout, I believe. I believe. No bridge, no wizard. For the Bible says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. The Lord, his God, is with him. Is with him. Believe this word, and I break every satanic chain. I break every satanic yoke. I break every satanic force that have risen to limit your journey. I frustrate the agenda of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me give you number two, and then we pray. The wonders of the blessings. We say number one is what turn around testimony. Testimony upon testimony. Testimony upon testimony of the art of God, of the goodness of God, of the blessings of God, of the glory of God, of the favor of God, of the blessing of the liftings of God. Your testimony is about to change your story. Emma, Emma, Gerti, Gerti. Obi, I'm not even mad on that. Bop, bop, bop. Obi, I'm not even going to be on a gaffer again. He has all his suspects. Ne ye yo. Mane when gozi chukuga gozi gi gozi em. Ike ne romana na 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 da patara rogi. Abu kani chohi ike ne. Kama na oru oru gita. Mbakwa gani kita? Ifuechi. Icho kui ike ne mi megi ne. Ike ne makano oru oru gie. Why? Because na enwe di hii jaman ike ne. Because enwe hii enwe ne enwe ho. A hundo kaya kama. Kali ane gafere kene, isi na makani umuhe go kujie kene. Niruho kandi ane kene, niruho kandi ana asoporo. Ofo ya se ni haji kusesi ni jesi church, ni jesi go church, kusesi je church. Bo na bo ni umuhe go na ma recognize kena church. Na ndi umuhe go kana recognize. Oye do tu ama umuhe te go no waya, no waya onso na biya. Oye kwa gani ndi umuhe go kana recognize na church? Okay, obo na church in kina aga. No, I didn't go to Canada to organize it. We go. Yes. Can you hear Chobia? Me, me, we ain't go. You Chobia, me, me, give me. Because we ain't celebrate Chobia. Ba. I pray for you. I receive. Under open heaven. 
you are blessed. Come on, na mwerego na emegai. Akona mo no na mba ogbe burugene buramus. Kenke kama. No werego na emegai. Mo ya bu ogbe burugene amus. Kenke ka like ya. Throughout this week, I have received a command to bless. He has blessed, and nobody can change it. You are blessed. You are blessed. I said 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 you are blessed. Let me give you this last one. But there's another one I would have loved to give, but let us reserve it tomorrow. Because tomorrow we are going to let's come on time. Because we have so many revelations to share. But let me leave that revelation tomorrow. The wonders of the blessings, unlimited wealth and riches. Unlimited what? I didn't hear you. Unlimited what? Genesis chapter 26, verse 13. Genesis 26, 13. Genesis 26, 13. Genesis 26, 13. Do we still have people like that? Uh, I see it. And the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very. I am interested in oh, that friend. adjective. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very. Oh, yeah. oh, we he was not rich. Oh, he was very. very. Oh, okay. Five million is going to very Hundred million are going to very Okay, 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 he was strong. He went forward. He grew until he became. When he became, Philistines could no longer stop him. There is a level you grow. Even in a strange land, you cannot be disposed. That's the wonders of the blessings. Because if you read verse 1 of that Genesis chapter 26, there were so many in the land, others were running, and God spoke by instruction and said, Don't go out yes. Stay here. I will bless you. That's the blessing. The source. The source. God said, I will give you the source. Even when they closed the well dug by the father, he dug his own. He became another thing. Because so when you have that the blessing no matter your location you shine do you know there are people who have the grace of turning villages into cities do you know that that they can start here and bam and when they do it and when I said, Oh, you who have you had a cocoa banana, oh, we the blessing because I'm no way the blessing. All the blessing they mend the man of far shaggy. I like, yeah, yeah. Another name, man, I bought the blessing for favor. That's guy name. That's the guy name. That's the guy name. No, yeah, the favored. No, yeah, no, you know, no, but do not catch a no, di catch a way go. Do you know, man of God, at 65, I can have your 65. 
Ah, no no He became great and not only great, he became very great. I pray for you, you will be great, you will become very great. I said, You will be great, you will become very great, you will be great, you will become very great. Don't mind them, they are insulting you because you are squatting in their warm room. They are looking at you somehow because you have nothing. Ayana makato liga da bagada laga do. Ejeke teke tele kete breke to lada. Ayana makolo breke soto later. We took the space of three months. Somebody's story changes forever. Hey, hey! I said somebody under the sound of my voice. Somebody watching online. We took the space of three months. Your story changes. Wonders, blessings. Oh, you bum. Namgan or in a way, Berry Bank and Canoketa. I can eat up. Oh, you bum here. Seventeen years ago, I didn't ask where he because you home here. A see home from a rich family. Oh, I'm working on my way now, but my baby, I hold them. Ah, cha cha kwa. Abu he go keja na tutu my way keta. Abu ha yoma. Ba. Jee na village juno ndi nuro tutu my way bundo biam ha kacha kwa na mwa. Chai. Ogala yishi nezuk. Oh, you have no one. To is Jesus who you keep. Jesus who you keep. Let me kiss you, dear. And in a year, bah, you go not to your tent, O Israel. Oh, you are not. I'm a kwanu kwanwe. I have heard you go to DNA. Oh, my, you know what? 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 Just. I say, but the hand I did DNA get a little bit. The man in here who came to ban all your way. The man, ah, we go for a drive at a cafe. We kiss. Get man, we don't keep up. Oh, yeah, I was an attack good on Bosha or Egypt or Kaduna or Jim. We are going also. I am another. I'm more go free him. You name it, you name it, call on, you name it, call on, why you're not dressed. I shall have a pop, 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 I didn't come from a rich family. I didn't come from is she going to buy an onomia nataba? Is she not only a nataba? Tio Kunaya, is she not your batu guaba? You know, she no guabe, but okay, guaba no guafo. You were born at Tazer in the Barabara. I know the meter. Open in another church. I know poverty. And God said to me in 2002, when I will lift you up, don't allow pride to come in. I was laughing. Pride where? Rich where? Or the possible? Or the possible? Or the possible? I know I know not I know I am not I know I am not I know I am not I know Yes, I have no money. I can't eat. I should have no money. I 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 
That's where you get up. Rukwe no no ba huwa no buhu no blok koko no aja nata no no ruwa rukwa glorified aja ru moga be no na ru ma ipo yo bu no na ru muni no ku e wika no na nube di no na nube di na apa nkata na six rooms no yin ka no kwa bed in kia ya no yin koze na apa ya no keke yin na kwa nube di But see a turn around testimony. And you are telling me that that God will not visit you. It's a lie. He will visit you. The God that visited me will visit you. The God that visited my family will visit you. So don't look down on yourself and look at yourself and say, look at this level of poverty. Can anything change? They ask the question, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Somebody said, come and see. That shall be your story very soon. You will have come and see testimonies. Come and see testimonies. Amen. Sit down. Amen. 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 Boy, as you know, no about Suru Jesus, no man you hold him. No ya na ya la, no ya na ya la. I broke on him, but don't mean a man. But I will come at him. We better move to Franklin and go school. Join on ever. Come on, I'm buying on a better school. No, come on, Maraco. Hey, make it, make it, make it. Bro, prefect, na class in Kaya. Mo ebo prefect, obo heberi. Ba. There are fans in Botswana who move wrong. We want to go to Pyongyang. There are fans. We want to go to Google. Man, I've been mad in the kitchen. I'm like, I can't. But now, SS3, I gave my life to Christ. When we did it by Expo, I've been on a one year mad Expo. Hey, we me? Yes. Sister Lizzo, can you come and have a beer? But before we start, I've been buying the test money in the area. Sister Liz Okori can make him vigilant. Imam, did no ever moya na post Sister Liz. Did gara up one about the community. So let's go. Did gana Bugo boys. Did gana is it or Zala? Special Science School and Co. You will understand that Sister Liz is born again. Quatale. Oji de gine expo ona. Manam gana oni huye ba expo we yege me. My am a gift of vision. You won't see me. On a SS3, come when you meet like Christ. I'm a Madonna church. I end him, end him. I want to know where we're missing. We're not going to have a response. Zama, a moment we put your bag on you. A moment we put your bag on your own. A moment we put your bag on me. We need an amagin. We don't have a phone. 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 Ruin the examination time. And what I put them can play. And when you have more talent, I swear. I say you miss your chemical and can miss your chemical and can see me. Science in the name me. So I have my botetra or so so fancy as it. I did science. Yet I couldn't. I couldn't understand anything. Was blank. When I hear you, me with Diana. When I hear you, me with Diana. When I hear you, me with Diana. I am Mr. Jum, but Ngesogi ro ye supporter. He will see Robert and him. I say na. Mo ano gide no gide. One of our classmates who chen na neji. Mo ni ano na the same church. Mondo Bodo. I need ano na the same church. How we cannot watch a life kita. I need ano na. I need ano ke bura mama. I need ano piya kwa na mape. Who chen na pa magasim. Chima, ide ide, msi ana mama na na watarenga. Asimba, mubuna kwa na kwa invitato sio yamba na bura kwa msi amba, na kwenye nuru nuda na church. Eh, muga gosium, eh, muga noerun, eh, abu nune meho expo, oga tiru nuna mama, na mu ana ha aba expo. Just sign, wado mum signature ni ma kuko, na sign signature, sign chat signature, mpya chie, vijeli amoke. 
English. I don't do I don't even understand. But I can't do it. I'm through. I'm not through. I have a I'm I'm I stand here to say it. I have my classmate here. Some Franklin. Some. Our former principal, Joe, Joe Madeque. Joe Madeque, because oh, well, I ascend. My hand out. Oh, and when uh, is that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one I don't hear the church. Jesus. What's in the eye? Oh, get it for Kanya. Now you have Bible and in a Pana school. Oh, yeah, Kimwe. He says, I am your non Kim Jacam de Nandin Kaza, Nayana Koraka, Nabo, Nahayot, and I am Mude. But to them, a graduate. To tell you that Paul says the Lord works. It works. It works. Even if everything fails, God's word, it works. Album graduate. A first class graduate here. Obasa hagi. Obo apa lower level. Obasa hagi. Obo apa. Obo yem mabugene. I am a graduate. And that was the word of God. No apa ne bang his pon. Yage me yage me graduate. You didn't go in a graduate. Ah. God never fails. So, I am standing on that word to tell you that things look like it can never. That is, it can never. It can never work. It's a lie. It will work. Everybody rise to your feet. Amen. It will work. It will work. Can you go to seven persons of your choice? Tell them what God says concerning me will work. It will work. The blessings he has declared concerning me, it will work. Say it with every amount of authority and confidence. It will work. It will work. It will work. Somebody will stand here before the end of this year and testify. I said, somebody will stand and testify. Somebody will have tears flowing testimonies. You look at yourself, it doesn't look like it. But God, by His mercy, remembered you. Can you lift your hands and begin to honor Him? Begin to honor Him. Begin to thank him. Begin to honor him. Begin to thank him. Begin to honor him. Begin to thank him. Begin to honor him. Open your mouth and thank him. Okuya di re di ebube Ana kwande oria Okuya di re di ebube Ana guso sike Okuya di re di ebube Ana kwande oria Okuya di re di ebube Ana guso sike Oh, 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 oh,
We are not here for stories, so we are here for a change of situation. He can. He can. There is somebody here. You don't have up to 100,000 in your account. But before the end of March, millions will flood into that same account. Okay. And others that have millions, your millions will keep multiplying. Amen. It is forward ever and backward never. Amen. I don't know the person the Lord is talking to. Can you lift your hand and shout, Father? I didn't hear that voice. Shout, Father. Bless me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Shout, God bless me. Jehovah bless me. Bless my life. Bless the works of my hand. Bless everything I do. Bless everything I thought. Change my story for good. I want you to pray. I'm not hearing your voice. I'm not hearing your voice. Lord bless me. Lord bless me. When the Lord blesses you, when the Lord turns things around for your good, your enemies will gather to celebrate with you. Lord bless me. Please make a demand. And Jacob said, I will never let you go unless you bless me. Say to God in tonight's encounter, bless my soul, bless my works, bless my family, bless me, bless me with money, bless me with babies, bless me with divine health. Mention the blessing that you need. Ask God to bless you. Ask God to impart in you the blessing, the blessing, the blessing, the source of blessings. Open your mouth and pray. Bless me, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we prayed. That is what I want to do first. And then I use you as an example. And I release something into you. Hear this. A change of attitude. Is what connects somebody to the blessings of God. Do you know that Moses was taking care of the father in laws ship? He was like a miserable man until the day he turned aside. He saw a forest burning and he thought. That's the message. 
That tone is a change in the idea, a change in the mind. That tone is a change in his character. That tone is a change in his attitude. As soon as he turned, heaven turned towards him. And God said to him, remove your shoes. You have been a slave here. I'm taking you back as a deliverer. You are going to challenge Pharaoh, the highest authority in Egypt, when Egypt was the world power. An ordinary henchman became a deliverer of a great nation because he chose to turn. Turn! Every one of us here knows ourselves. If the next person doesn't know you, you know yourself. Your problem is pride to admit that there is something wrong with me. You can't take God one year to bless your life. That is an attitude. And this program is like the fire that was burning in the bush. God is looking for your attention so that he can change your character. But the question now is, are you willing to turn? I used to steal, I won't steal again. I used to back, I won't back again. I used to have an awful character. I don't want it again. I used to have untamed anger. I don't like it. I used to tell lies. I won't tell lies again. That's Tom. And as soon as he turned, God called him. And God gave him the blessing. That was how he became the greatest prophet ever lived. Apart from Jesus Christ. He became a foundational apostle. The first apostle in the scripture was Moses. How many of us are ready to turn? Please, I don't want to see anybody stand, sitting down. We have a few minutes to go. How many of us are ready to come out to the altar and say, Lord, there is a character in me that I don't like. There is an attitude in me I don't like. I want to turn. And I'm turning at this altar of blessings. I want you to come to the altar. And lift that right hand and say, Father, take this character. Take this out of me. I don't like this. I, don't, I can't pretend over it. I don't like this. I don't like this. Forgive me. Lift your right hand and talk to God. Tell God that you want him to turn you from. Turn me from this. That I may become. It may be anger. It may be unforgiveness. It may be unnecessary lies. It may be masturbation. It may be immoral attitude. Say, Lord, turn me from it. Say, Lord, turn me from it. Say, Lord, turn me from it. Turn me from it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift your two hands. Say, Father, I submit this life to you. Forgive me. Anywhere I have wronged you. Take this life. Take this character. Take this nature. Give me your nature. I want to walk under open heaven. I want to make you proud in my generation. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in his death. I believe in his resurrection. Jesus! Jesus! Turn me to Ariam as I have turned to you. In Jesus mighty name. Jesus Christ. Hear this. Watch your life. When that character wants to rise, tell the character you have been taken to the cross. I am a new brown person. And can I tell you this before you go back to your seats? As you are going back to your seats, the God, the voice that changed Moses has already changed you. You will see testimonies like never before in your life. You will see favor like never before in your life. It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Now return to your seat. Check in. I didn't say sit down. No. Just return. Stand up. And stretch your hands towards this altar. There are 12 persons here. There are 12 persons. Thus says the Lord. They have hot sensation of the body. That sickness is over tonight. Amen. And when somebody made an eye operation, and that eye operation is coming back again by this February, 
Thus says the Lord, that disease is over. Amen. As you sleep and wake up in the morning, you will look for the trouble, you will not see the Amen. trouble. See, every day I will be declaring the blessings of They used to curse you. They can't curse you again. Amen. You will feed your community. Amen. You will take care of people's bills. Amen. You will give many reasons to live. Amen. You are blessed. As for the ministers of God, receive unction to function. Amen. You will not be a beggar. Amen. And your children will not live below level Amen. because their father is a pastor. Amen. They will enjoy what the sons and the daughters of people blessed by God enjoy. Amen. And your family members will look at you. And they will say to you, indeed, your step to serve God have liberated all of us. Amen. Your contribution in your father's house and in your father's land will not be only prayer. There will be physical gift. There will be physical contribution. When there is a need to call for 10 million, you will be among the people that will give even above 10 million. And then add prayer to it. I pray that prayer to everybody also. Your contribution in your father's house from today will not only be amen. There will be physical connection. There will be physical contact. Even in the entire community. They will call for you. And you will give your support. And let me give you this advice before we, we give our offering and then go for and today and come tomorrow. Any day they are giving in your community, even if they say that somebody has taken the bill, objectives, give your own. Whether it is small, give your own. And I try to raise the 10 million. I And the Need you five thousand. Yes. Need a ten yen. Oto akesi eto. Any place he bear an eme iho niye, he wear the privilege of giving, even if it is ten kobo. Yeah. Give it. Yeah. This is an instruction. Yeah, but it do akana. And you watch it produce in your life. Yeah. I love you all. <laughs>
no matter what no matter the crisis no matter the persecution no matter the intimidation stand your ground don't disappoint jesus don't turn your back at him give him the best of your service for he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek after him